So, as I leave Walmart, let's talk more about Twitter. Because we have yet another thing that's going on on Twitter that I find to be absolutely ridiculous and hilarious. And that is people denying this whole forced diversity and inclusion nonsense because it's happening. They're like, well, why don't they just get the best doctor for the job? If this was maybe 10 years ago, that would probably be factual. It would probably be truthful. That's something that is a thing that happened. But it's way too much of a coincidence for people to just magically be turning characters from white to black. And having TikTok videos of people saying how important it is to have, like, a black aerial or something like that. So, it truly does become less about what is best for the character or best for the role. And becomes more and more forced diversity and inclusion. There was a dude who asked, well, where are the receipts? Where's the proof of all of this? Well, if you use your brain, like you don't even need the corporate speak papers that Disney has stated where they're forcing this stuff. Just use your brain and you will see that it is full-blown factual that they are indeed wanting to force diversity, equity, and inclusion on everybody. It's, it's a fact. Um, because notice how April O'Neil became a black woman, um, and she's an animated character. April O'Neil became a black woman. Ariel became a black woman, um, in both the movie and the cartoon show. Um, and then you have the mother from Rugrats, Phil and Lil's mom, becoming a lesbian out of nowhere. Um, and then her husband just disappearing for no reason. You have, <clears throat> let's see, what else? What else? What else? What else? A weird amount of black people in Middle Earth. Like, where did, where did all these black folk come from? If this is supposed to be before the events of the movie, where did all these black people come from? Because there weren't black people in the movies. And so you see, you start to be able to unravel this. If you use just even an ounce of your brain, you're able to be like, hey, this is, this is easily able to be proven just by using like two ounces of brain power. You don't have to use a lot of your brain, but they choose not to because it makes them feel good about, you know, supporting diversity, equity, and inclusion. You have corporations flat out admitting and saying that, you know, they'll do this stuff. That they will have this DEI stuff revved and ready to go. And they are more than happy to um, support black people by giving black people sloppy seconds. I mean, even, even TikTok comedian Fredo on TV made a video about this, which... I will most certainly put right here. Three, two, one. And he talked about it, thought this DEI garbage was ridiculous. And so if it was not this prevalent, if it was not this um, noticeable, why are all these major TikTokers, these big TikTokers looking at this and being like, this is stupid. And Fredo's a black dude. Fredo's a black dude. And he's like, just give us characters that are interesting. We have plenty of diverse characters. Why are you transforming already white characters into black characters? But no, these Nimrods that still lurk around TikTok, I mean Twitter, even after Musk bought it out, these Nimrods are like, wow, um, there's no proof that it's forced DI. It's just the best person for the job. Where's your proof? You see, 
you can flip it on your on their head and ask them, where is your proof of all this? How do you know it's the best person for the job? Like, seriously. Again, I don't think anybody would really be questioning this if this was like 8, 9, 10, or even 11 years ago. But this is 2024, where they have been changing the race of people for a long time. And people think we need DEI. People think we need this stuff. We don't need this stuff at all. We don't need it because they want to say that, oh, men will never buy something that has a female lead. Well, then that kind of negates the popularity of every female-led movie since before this woke, super hyper-progressive nonsense happened. I mean, even recent years, Alita Battle Angel, which is a movie I've never seen, but Alita... Alita a little, a little, 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 little. <laughs> oh gosh! Um, but Alita Battle Angel is um, a movie that was very popular. Told a very good story, from what I've heard, based off of a comic IP, and sold like hotcakes. And it had a female lead. Nobody had to push the fact that it was a female lead. They just knew. And that was fine. That was acceptable. Nobody gave a crap. Man. So how are you going to tell me that we need all these DEI people to change and fix our games or change and fix our movies? How are you going to sit there and tell us that? When nobody gave a crap about lack of representation before. When studios... When studios go and do this whole DEI nonsense, they are telling people who are part of these groups that never had an issue with lack of representation before that you're stupid, you're idiotic, and we know what's best for you. They are telling disabled people who might be like, hey, I'm okay with the representation I'm getting in this movie. Like, when Peter Dinklage completely screwed it over for the little people community. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're, you're giving them the big old middle finger. You are giving black people the middle finger by thinking that they are so stupid that they have to have somebody that looks like them to be able to relate. Well, I'm a half black, half white fat man with a lazy eye. I don't see any representation for me. Where is my fat guy, half black, half white individual with a lazy eye representation? I'll never see it. And thus I will cry myself to sleep every night for the next 18 years because that breaks my heart. You see how ridiculous that is? Remember, Feminist Frequency tried this nonsense, and it failed. Sweet Baby Inc. tried this nonsense, and it failed. And you have people defending Sweet Baby Inc. Being like, Ooh. <laughs> One person, and if I can find the, the post, I will I will tag it on the screen. But one per again, it's Twitter, so you know I'm telling the truth if it, if it comes from Twitter. One person flat out said something along the lines of, you know, with all these people kicking out these these. DEI consulting firms from these AAA developers, you're just going to have a bunch of in indie developers that don't give a crap. And I even think I responded to this. I'm like, well, here's the thing. You, you're you going to have indie developers that don't give a crap anyway. What does having these DEI people in the AAA industry have to do with the indiv independent, independent developers? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You claim it has to have something to do with them, but it doesn't. These indie developers will still do whatever the heck they want to. They will still ignore your your DEI crap. They don't want your DEI crap, and it doesn't make them bigoted. It doesn't make them racist or transphobic, ableist, um, homophobic. It doesn't make them anything of that nature. They It just makes them smart. They can tell whatever story they want to tell. And they don't need you breathing down their neck. Because that's how gaming was for years and years. It was only recent that gaming went this direction. So, yeah. Kindly kiss my undercarriage. Have a blessed day. Um, and, uh, yeah. I have...
No love lost for these people who think DEI, forced DEI, doesn't exist. Because it is very apparent that it, it exists. Why would we be having all these people complain about forced DEI? A lot of whom are black people. Because you, you can look at the whole TikTok debacle. I will never forget this. There was a white guy trying to... Trying to... Um, white splain to a black guy as to why having a black aerial was important. And the black guy was like, we don't need a black aerial, just make a different character. So so you have you can look at these you can look at the whole discourse around Ariel as an example as to this being a hot button issue with a lot of black people who are sick and tired of the race swaps. They're tired of race swapping characters that don't need to be race swapped. They think it's insulting. Um, so yeah, all this does is breed white saviors. Most likely, if I see somebody who is for DEI and I cannot see them, their face or see their profile picture, I'm assuming they're a white knight, a white savior trying to um, help us poor defenseless minority folk. It is what it is. But yeah, I'm going inside. I'm going to make some food. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves, okay? This is Gabe Radio Blobfish signing off. Take care and God bless. Peace.